Hello everyone, welcome back to another industrious tutorial. Today I'm just going to be remaking the diesel tutorial, since that one is not the best, it's a bit outdated. But we're going to be going over the basics of diesel refining, none of the advances, but just diesel refining, and then making a modular diesel engine, not necessarily to this scale, but just this is an example of a good one. And we're going to start here. This right here is the oil derrick. Now the oil derrick is, it produces crude oil. You can get crude oil other ways, but if you're just doing it like by itself, like an individual diesel refiner, you could just use these uh, extractors. Now what you're going to, what, sh what you're going to do is you're definitely going to have to make a couple of these. Not too many. Depends on how big you want it. There are certain ratios for you to follow. I'm not going to follow those because there's no reason to right now. I'm just making a basic tutorial. But I do suggest checking the wiki for the uh, ratios. Because they are helpful when making a max efficiency, max efficient farm. So we're just going to connect these real quick. Let's see here. Just like that, we're gonna add we're gonna add another one of these on the end. Just in case we end up just in case we end up needing to add more. Now as you can see here, sometimes the arrows are the wrong way. Which is fine. We could just fix that. Just like that. Now we're going to need where is it? We're going to need the crude oil boiler factories we we pass it didn't we ah yes here he goes uh liquid boiler liquid boiler and now i'm guessing you already have a source of electricity i'm just gonna use the uh i'm just gonna use the dev solar panel right now just so i can produce like um just so i can produce a lot of electricity just like that. As you, uh, as you can see, these are all just going to work. And let's see here. As you can see, we have crude oil now. That's hot. Now we're going to need... Where is it? Go back here. It's going to be a factory again. Here it is. Crude oil separator. We're going to have to place... Can it fit here? It cannot. Okay, that's fine. Grab a turn. Now it's going to go into there. So this is this is going to separate. So we're going to get residue, I believe. Yep, residue right here. With residue, you could either sell it for a negative profit. It costs money to sell it. You could store it. Or if you're a maniac, you can dump it. I'm not going to dump it. I'm just going to store it for now. We produce gasoline, so with gasoline, you could sell it, you could store it, or what I like doing is I like taking a, uh, where is it, you can find it in here, gasoline generator, produce some extra, produce some extra gas, uh, produce some extra right there, some extra power. Now there's nothing really to do with this power, unless you want to connect it, but we have crude diesel right here. Outputs diesel after processing. And with this crude diesel, we're going to we're going to take the diesel refinery and we're going to refine it. So we're going to go like this. We're going to do that. I believe. This is residue, I believe, right? So this, this is crude oil. It's going to go there. This is going to go into here. Okay, so let's connect this up real quick. Just like that. Now I'm actually going to remove this. I'm going to grab... 
wipe here. Okay, it's in there. I'm going to grab another refinery. You only need you only need three refineries to get the max uh, amount of refined to get the max refined amount. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. I know it's getting a bit crowded here, but that is a good thing because the more crowded it is, the um, more efficient it is, uh, I guess you could say. Or rather, the less space it takes up, which is kind of useful. So as you can see, we've used the crude oil, uh, the derrick. We've used the oil derrick, the, uh, the liquid boiler, the uh, crude oil separator, and the diesel refinery. Now with, with this residue here, we're actually going to take the residue. Actually, first, we're going to bring our crude oil just just away. I'm going to use long pipe two here. Long fluid pipe tool uh, two. Just like that. And you bring it away. Then here we can have our uh, engine. But now we have to deal with that residue. Which everyone hates residue. Actually, some people are crazy and they don't hate it. They actually like... They're kind of wild with it. Uh, we need... This... Just like that. And instead, it's going to go that way. We need a short fluid pipe. Bring it that way. Okay. Now the residue is going to come here. We're going to bring the residue there. Where is our... Here it is. We're actually, I'm actually going to put... Instead, I'm going to put a uh, fluid pipe intersection. You'll see in a second. This is going to go here and then here. Because we're going to take our gasoline. We're going to connect it to there. To do that, we're going to have to add this. Um, can we get a long pipe? How many long pipes can we fit in here? Oh, perfect amount. I mean, except for this one. But we can always just add a uh, a regular pipe there. Regular fluid pipe. Residues being made. Gasoline is being made. Gasoline can go there. Now with with the gasoline, we can burn it. Where is our Where is our Here it is. Gasoline burner. Just like that, it's going to start creating it. And now, gonna need another long fluid pipe. Actually, no, we don't. We need another. We need this, this little thing here. And then, here we go. Get rid of all that residue. Yuck. We hate residue. Gasoline, uh, because it's full. Yep. And this is going there. Good. Now we just need to connect this to all the stuff. As you see, now we're going to be producing a lot of refined diesel. Let's see here. Yep, we're producing quite a bit. Not. It's not the most. But, because I'm not following ratios, but this is just a simple tutorial, so it doesn't really need to be. Also, we're probably going to have to store this somewhere. So let's actually get a, an HV battery down right here. Yep, there we go. It's not going to produce much, but it is what it is. Now we're going to need to build our... Where is it? Where is fuel input? Fuel input. Here we go. Fuel input. I'm going to put it right 
there. Let's say we put it there. So it's away from the uh, this thing. And just just to save models, we could do another one of those. Put it a tiny bit away. Doesn't matter how far away it is, because it's it's not like it's gonna lose any heat. That's not our that's not a problem. Okay, now that we have that, we're gonna start creating our crank. We're gonna start creating our engine here. So this this right here, depending on which way it's going. So so if I go over here, just just ignore ignore that right there. But but as you can see here. This is the engine. The, I mean, this is the uh, the controller, like the brain of the machine. This is our info panel. It shows us all the stats, like how much air it has, how much fuel it has, how much exhaust, and how much fuel it, it uh, uses, and what the torque amount it can have. Now, right here is the fuel input. doesn't really matter where the fuel input is, but what matters is that if I take this, you see this here? The uh, the yellow hinge or the yellow connector on the right has to be facing away from the brain here. So because of that, if we go over here, we're going to have it go this way and the brain's going to be right here. So we're going to have it go like that. Man, I love the free cam. So we're going to... Oh, a bit weird there. But you can see we're going to have it go this way. I'm actually going to quickly disable that. Now we're going to grab... We need our... Remember, we need our brain, which will be the diesel engine controller. As you can see, it connects into it like that. Now right here... Actually, we could do that right here. We could put it right here. Now I'm going to grab... You don't need the fuel panel. However, I highly suggest you do get the fuel panel so you can see... Uh, the the info panel so you can see what it needs, what it, what it doesn't need. I see it's full. It's saying, hey, we don't have any air. We have no exhaust, which is good. We have no air, which is not good. We're not using any fuel because it's not running, and the torque, it has nothing because we don't have any cylinders here. Now the cylinders are uh, these black things here, and they actually produce torque, which you can use to turn uh, the diesel into power. So we're going to add some of those here, diesel engine cylinders, these things. I'm going to add it right here. And we're going to look, as you can see, with every new one, we get more torque. Actually, we don't we don't have that yet, because we still need to add a generator on it for it to actually know what's going to happen. As you can see, it doesn't say any, it doesn't register torque. We had a generator, and I'm pretty sure if it doesn't register, we still need to add some more things, such as an air input. Where is it? Air input, air input, right here. Yeah, there we go. And now it's gonna be now it's generating power actually. It's actually generating power. We're also gonna need to get rid of the exhaust real quick. Exhaust, exhaust. Oh, here it is. We have negative one air. That means we need another air input. Which we could do. Air input. It's, that's a fuel input, my bad. We need an air input. Here we go. There we go. And what are we running? What's happening? There we go. I want to see if we get if we add another air input. Yep, 
Yep, that seems to be good for now. So as you can see, we're using up our diesel in here. And in return, we're making power. So actually, I'm going to can quickly I'm going to place an HMVT right here. Connect this to here. And as you see, we're going to connect it to here, and it's going to start producing power. Just like that, we've made a diesel engine and a diesel refinery to start making power for our machines. Now, actually, if you're looking at this and you're like, wait, why is this not as big as this one? Why does it not have these throttles? Well, first of all, what is a throttle? The throttle allows you to control how much torque it's actually. Um, it just gives you more control, so let me get the throttle here. Here he is. Here it is. Put it here. So what it does is it decreases the throttle of the cylinder or increases, which can decrease or increase the fuel amount and just, just the uh, the usage of all these things, like the air and the fuel. So I'm actually, and it's also the torque amount. So you can see torque, we have 155 out of 156. I'm going to decrease the throttle to 50. And then we're going to we're gonna be using a lot less now. It's going to be producing less. If I increase it, we're going to be making more. <clears throat> and you can put these. You can put these on all of them. I typically, if I can, I put them on most of them, or at least some of them, because it is useful to be able to control it. But you don't need it. Now, the one thing I would do here is I like making it look nice, because it looks kind of ugly at the moment. So you can add decoration, which, as his name suggests, is just is just decoration. There's nothing important about it. It's quite literally just decoration. Just like that. Which we don't need one there. And if you're like, oh, I don't like the spaces in between where there's no concrete, you can get this piece called decoration and place concrete in between. Just like that. It is a bit elevated for some reason. I don't know why it's why it's elevated. It just is. But you also you also have this gap right here probably from fuel. Which is perfectly okay because you can actually take a light here. You can use it as an excuse to add lights. Let's say instead of this. We can add this. Where is our light? Here it is. Just like that. And now we have a functioning diesel engine. And it's working pretty well, as we as we could check this right here. Yep. It's not... Diesel isn't the best, but that's just how you use it, in case anyone wants to. But I hope you all learned something from this video. Hope you found it helpful. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.